What are we doing today, folks? Hey, we're installing radon systems. That's what we do on this channel. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia. I make videos for the radon mitigators. Those looking to get in the business. And if you're a homeowner, of course, you can stay and hang out. Check out www.nrsb.org. It's right down here. If you're looking for a radon mitigator, go there, plug in your zip code, and that'll bring up a list of certified radon professionals in your area. So today, uh, this is kind of geared towards mitigators. So I'll give you a warning. If you want to hop off now, now would be a good time. But so. This is kind of about mitigators running your business, and uh, the subject today is eating it. Or if you're from the south, you say eating it. Um, so anyway, what we did here, this is a ranch house, and uh, we used a high suction fan, and we converted to uh, downspout to blend with that downspout, and you know, when you get these wide overhangs, it's best to go ahead and, and use similar materials. Uh, if you use pipe, uh, the angle have been much more severe because that's 45 and that's like 60 or something like that So that's how we went. And that's how we did But something happened to me today and I wanted to share it with you and how we handled it and sometimes it just ain't your day Man, I've got a good joke that goes with that, but I, I keep this channel clean if you see me at the bar sometime I'll share it with you <laughs> um, so uh, when you're setting up your radon mitigation systems uh, one thing that's always of concern is how do I power the fan? Once you get everything lined up, you know, outside and get that jiving with inside, then you got to figure out, all right, where's the juice going to come from? So uh, what we did was today we used the master bedroom. Pay no attention to this stuff on the left here. All right, so the master bedroom, got an outlet, fans running hunky-dory, cool. So I'm doing my thing down here, you know, uh, making the suction pit happen and what do I do? I need to hook up my shop vac. I need to hook up my big boy drill and I plug in the shop vac to this outlet that's on the other side of this window here. It works for a little while and then it peters out. Boom! Done! No more. No more juice. And so we troubleshoot it as best we can and we even replace the outlet. I've got brand new outlets on the van there's no explanation as to why there is no juice at the outlet in this customer's daughter's bedroom any longer. What do we do? Um, you know, from the customer's perspective, hey, this outlet has always worked. Then you guys show up. My perspective, all I did was plug in a vacuum cleaner. That's what everybody uses on a daily basis. It's not my fault not his fault what do we do well we ate it today uh, we decided we, we said look you got two choices on how to get electricity back to this outlet you just trace it up through the wall tear out drywall stuff like that or you know what my helper and I we will bring electricity back to that outlet and, and uh, the customer was reasonable and he said okay go ahead so this is what we did. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but there's an upside. I try to stay positive. <laughs> okay, so that's his master bedroom. We got juice going to the fan. We went ahead and we did an external run here because uh, other the uh, the alternative was ripping out drywall, and we're not going to do that. Uh, that's between him and electrician. Uh, this was all freebie from us to him, uh, just to keep things going smooth. Ran it down here. And then back in there. Uh, it, so his daughter now has electricity. She'll never know the difference. It does not look any different on the inside of the house. And the upside is, hey, if he ever wants an exterior outlet, hey, it'd be a piece of cake to, to make one happen right there at that junction box. So we try to, we're just trying to make ch chicken salad out of chicken poop. Uh, lemons out of lemonade, but that's, that's the reality of it. That's what happened. And you know what? I feel sorry for any restaurateur that's had to refund a meal when a customer says, gosh, uh, you know, there's a hair in my food here. And it's, you know, it's probably their own hair. It's what you do in business. You eat it sometimes. And it's not been the world to set us back a couple hours. Um, troubleshooting and then resolution. But uh, if you're interested in radon mitigation or anything in the service industry, stuff like this is going to happen. And... Um, this is what we chose to do, and I hope this helps somebody out there in radon world or the world in general. Hey, if you found this information helpful, 
by all means watch us smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel I'll try to put out lots of content when i can however i can you guys have a great day see you in the next video thanks for watching